everybody how are you today in today's video I am going to explain how to use a protractor all right so we know that to measure weight we use scale to measure length we use a ruler to measure capacity we use a measure cup so one instrument do we use to measure angles? That is what we're going to learn now. To measure angles, we use a protractor. So how do we use a protractor? That's a very good question. All right, so to measure angles, there are some things that you need to know about the protractor. As you can see, it is a semicircle divided into equal parts, and each part marks a degree. Also, it has two rows of numbers. The lower row begins here from zero and the top row begins here in zero. The first thing that we need to do is to place the center point of the protractor right on the vertex of the angle. And this line marking zero degrees have to line up with the bottom line of the angle, like this. Then we need to count from zero up to the place where the other line meets the protractor. Since we need to start counting from zero, we are going to use the lower row of the protractor and as you can see this angle measures 60 degrees remember the center point of the protractor on the vertex of the angle and the edge marking zero degrees lining up with the bottom line of the angle we need to start counting from zero, so we need to use this row because this row starts from zero and we count up until the part where the second line meets the protractor, which is 60 degrees. And since it measures 60 degrees, this is an acute angle. All right, this is my first example. Remember that you need to place the vertex right here in the center point of the protractor and the bottom line of the angle has to match the edge of the protractor. Okay, so I place the protractor here and I see how many degrees is marked in the protractor. Okay, so as you can see, this angle measures 50 degrees. Which means this is an acute angle. Okay, this is the second example. And remember, the center point of the protractor in the vertex and the bottom line of the angle matching the edge of the protractor and as you can see this angle measures 90 degrees which means that this is a right angle now another example I place the center point of the protractor in the vertex and the edge of the protractor matching the bottom line of the angle and I measure and as you can see this angle measures 120 degrees which also means that this angle is an obtuse angle So this is how you measure angles. Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye.